today I will be teaching you how to use sandboxing. It's a very nice program. Let me show you an example of what it does. Let's say you have sandboxing installed. Let's say this is sandboxing. And let's say this is your hard drive. Sandboxy can run your browser and any program you want pretty much inside the sandbox. So that if a virus tries to install itself on your computer or from your browser or from that program, then it can't escape the sandbox and get into your hard drive. All you have to do is just delete it from the sandbox. And then just restart the sandbox and nothing will change. Okay, now let's go into some details about how to use the sandbox. To find sandboxy, click on the little arrow on your taskbar. Then double click the yellow sandboxy control. After doing this, you have successfully opened sandboxy. Now, to open your browser into Sandboxy, go to where your browser is located. Mine is located in the shortcuts photo that I created. So, right click the browser of your choice. For this, I'm going to use Firefox because that's my favorite browser. But you could also use Chrome or Internet Explorer. So you right click on the browser and you left click one sandbox. One sandbox. You go ahead and leave it on default box and then left click OK. In order to tell if you're in the sandbox or not, you can put your mouse at the very top of your screen and the browser should be in the yellow box. Yet a border all around your browser. Or you can put your mouse over your browser at the bottom on the taskbar and you should see the little tic tac toe sign or pound key which looks like that. Now we know we are in sandbox. So let's go to a website. I'm going to go to youtube.com and let's say that I want to save a page so to save a page you just right click on the page as usual left click save page as you notice how this little hashtag pound key is in this that means that even now we're still in the sandboxy even when we go to save a page okay let's save it in my website's photo downloading as usual now you can go to your downloads right click left click open containing photo select the page that you just saved and select the photo that goes along with it. Right click. Scan it if you want with your virus scanner to make sure there is no viruses in it. No threats were detected on your PC during this scan. By the way, I'm using the Microsoft Security Essentials scanner. And then left click. Cut after you right click the items. 
And now exit the sandboxed version of your downloads and website folder. Go to your websites folder manually, right click and left click paste. And that's how we download something from the sandbox. It's a little bit more trouble, but it's definitely worth it to save you from viruses.